Time now for the lunch break Italian, my favorite. We are cooking a pasta dish using extra fresh tomato. Chef Massimo Salatino of Francesca's joins us. Thanks so much for being here. It's my pleasure, Dina. You have some delicious looking tomatoes. Yeah, we got Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, please. Some sorry. great seafood over here on the other side, so I'm excited about this one. Yeah, what we're going to make today, we're going to make spaghetti with heirloom tomato and lobster. Mm. So what we do over here, we have some fresh main lobster. See that I just cut it up. Here we go, we're going to put it right into the pan. Excellent, okay. So you leave it in the shell to put it in the yeah, pan? Yeah, in the like shell, that. yes. What I did, I just cracked the knuckle mm -hmm. so it'll be easy for the meat to cook. Otherwise, another easy way to do it, you can just blanch it for like four or five minutes. I mean, if you have like one pound lobster. Okay. Okay? Excellent. Meanwhile, we're going to make the sauce in, the other, in this other pan. Mm -hmm. You can cook everything in the same pan, but over here, it's a little bit quicker way to do it. So what I have over here, I have some um, marinated garlic, sliced garlic with extra virgin olive oil. Oh, yum. Okay, so what we'll do is just sweat slightly the garlic. You don't want to burn it because otherwise it'll, you then know, it gets real brown and, brown and right. bitter. It'll make the sauce very bitter. Yeah. So you sweat, but you, you can start sm smelling the flavor. Mm, okay. Oh yeah, you put some peppers in there. <laughs> yeah, a little chili flake, you know, to give a little kick to it. <laughs> right. Okay, meanwhile, let's turn this one up. Okay, then what we'll do, we'll season the lobster. Okay, a little pepper, a little... Just a little salt and pepper. Salt That's and it. pepper, yes. You see the garlic start releasing the flavor, and then mm -hmm. what we'll do oh, over I can here. Smell it. We have an assortment of heirloom tomato over here. We have some like a Cherokee purple. They call uh, these I've ones. I've never seen the purple ones. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, they those taste are the same. What is the uh, well, difference in flavor? Different flavors. Uh, lighter the color, uh, a little sweeter they are. Darker the color, more acid the, the tomato is going to be. Okay. Okay. So you see, we sweat the garlic, and here we go. We put the tomato right into. Some of them sliced? Oh. Yeah, I slice them. them. No, I slice okay. them. You can leave it even, even whole because they'll cook very uh, quickly. Mm -hmm. Two, three minutes and the sauce will be ready. Again, we'll season again. With tomatoes, especially the heirloom because they're so sweet, they'll take a lot of seasoning. Okay, so you want to be generous with your... You can use a kosher salt or sea salt. All righty. Sprinkle off, again, some... Just a little fresh pepper. Fresh pepper. pepper, yes. Oh, you see the lobster starts searing, so we'll... Flip it over and you see, and the lobster is going to be cooked when it'll turn all orange, like light orange color. Right. Okay? Now it's going to start smoking over here. Here we go. Then again, this uh, sauce will cook like two, three minutes because you still want to leave the integrity of the tomato. Right. You okay, don't want you don't want to overcook too like too saucy or just like that, you know? All right, then perfect. we have some fresh, freshly chopped parsley, Italian parsley. Maybe we will add a little Certainly extra. It's colorful. <laughs> Extra virgin well as well. healthy. It is. Also, besides being healthy, it's a very quick sauce to make. Don't forget, tomatoes are excellent because they have a, a high level of antioxidant. Yes. So it's great, uh, rich in vitamin. Right, lycopene also. in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. See, for here you. we go, the sauce. And now the lobster, if you cook the lobster like that, it'll take uh, three, four minutes in each side for okay. like a one pound lobster split in half. Okay. Perfect. Start smoking over here. I don't want to burn the studio right now. <laughs> now what we'll do... Smoke detectors will start going off. We'll all be back. Oh, waiting. great. Now we'll cook some spaghetti already pre-cooked in advance. Okay, let me get the plate so we can plate it over here. And I know you're hungry, so... Oh, look, he's trying to crawl out. You see him? <laughs> well, he was alive until a few minutes ago, so... Here we go. Look how beautiful it looks. Oh, so you just want to... When you cook it, it shell down, you want to make sure you don't overcook the meat. So, like, honestly, two minutes. So you keep flipping it. Yeah, already. keep flipping. <laughs> and also the best way, you can, now at this point, you can even cook it in the oven. 375 degrees for, like, five minutes. It will be perfect. Oh, really? And you okay. then have it. Which way is it? Is it juicier? If you do it this way as opposed to in the oven? Uh, either way. Okay. You just don't, do not want to overcook it. Okay, right, because otherwise it gets tough yeah. and then it's just no good. Right. Okay. So okay. here we go. We'll move this one away. Good move. We go. So you see, it's almost... Perfect, look at that. And then what we'll do, let's turn off the Ferrari over there. Here we go, the spaghetti again, they were already pre-cooked. Otherwise, uh, right. we, it's part cooked, actually. What okay. Always in uh, uh, boiling salted water, you want to cook your pasta for better flavor. Okay. Watch your uh, hand, I don't want to burn you now. All right, we're going to we plate this up right now. And while we do, we'll tell you that Francesca's has a tomato festival, September 7th to the 13th on LaGrange Road in Palos Park. You can call 708-671-1600 for more information or go to miafrancesca.com or as always, just check out our website, wgntv.com. Oh, and look at all those together. Is that fabulous? See how beautiful 
WGN News is sponsored in part by...